the blinds. So, um, this is a video continuing from, I'm looking at my notes. Earlier today, I, I watched uh, Futurama Season 6, and this is Episode 3 and 4. So, it was a four-part, it's it four episodes, and I feel like it was put into somewhat of a, uh, like a short movie type of, um, it has short movie all written all over it, because you take, you take a, a story and stretch it out to four episodes, it's kind of like, that's what I'm assuming that they're, that they're shooting it for here, but anyway, this is probably, this is probably one of my, uh, this is probably one of the four better episodes that I've, I've watched so far, but I'm going to focus on three and four in this, in this, <clears throat> in this video. Now you're going to have to excuse me, I'm a little, a little tired, it's almost my bedtime. <laughs> so what I wrote down for three is, uh, what did I put, uh, oh, 50 terabytes, so, um, <laughs> So, uh, the beginning of uh, episode three, Bender um, gets his uh, gets his uh, um, ability to think for himself back. Uh, they they the scammers take off the virus that's controlling him that makes him brainwash and fall at every order. But in the process, they wind up taking out fifty terabytes of uh, adult content. <laughs> Now, if you know how much a terabyte, one terabyte is a lot of a lot of memory. But he had fifty terabytes of that stuff, which made, I just thought it was funny. Um, hey, what else happened in this episode? Uh, Doom. I just wrote down Doom. Uh, oh man. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So, um, man, I forgot. I forgot what that meant. Oh, 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 Doom. The planet, the planet is gonna. What? Well, well, eventually at the end of episode four, the, the planet just wind up um, imploding. I think that's a, a on an occurring an occurring event that happens in this series. Um, yeah, the first few times it was pretty cool, but now it's just like again, it's like it seems like everything is gonna destroy the Earth. And I did not mention. Um, it's just. It's just. I can't remember what I meant by, by Doom. I think the professor said something about the whole planet's doomed because he has, they found, him and the, um, him and the uh, scientist, the, the, the Harm Gold Child scientist, they're scientists and they're also really good at basketball, the Harm Gold Child scientist um, that came from a previous episode, if you've been watching the series, uh, they're back in this one and they're helping Professor figure out uh what are the consequences from all this time traveling that's occurring and of course they're saying uh you continue to do it, it's gonna mess up the, mess up the world and um all while that's happening uh um leela and this uh yeah leela and, and that and that uh new character that's came in which we're gonna find out. She's gonna find out eventually that it is Fry. Spoiler, but uh, hate to, I hate to spoil it, but I had to. <laughs> Lars, I think Sars or Lars is his name. I think. Oh God, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Jesus. But um, he um. So they're actually getting married in this episode. I feel like, and I think uh, you're actually getting married in this episode, but uh. Um, at the wedding, the professor's telling Hermes about his body and how anything that comes from the past there is doing this time traveling is doomed. And uh, Lars hears this and is like, "Oh no, I can't marry you, Leela," and runs off. And uh, meanwhile, they're starting to break down some some of uh, Fry's story as he went back into the past uh, previously, and he basically he. he he goes back in time again to get he time travels again to get some some pizza because he's hungry and he needs some money. He does that and then he basically is sobbing because of he lost Leela, you know. And then he tries to find something to 
Francis has to find something to occupy his time. So coincidentally, he finds an animal that kind of looks like a mix between a dolphin and a, and a swordfish, and and also has the, a similar sounding name to Leela. He befriends it. Uh, then it's time for that thing to be set free. So what does he do? He goes and searches for it, finds it, then tries to bring it back into captivity. But of course, it's sad. He's like, why are you sad? Come to find out that dolphin has found a mate. And that makes him realize that uh, love is, in, in this in this character's opinion, love isn't a selfish thing. So he winds up... Um, Letting her free so she could be happy with uh, her mate. Um, let me see. Uh, I know I'm kind of rushing through this, but number four. Oh, so the inevitable happens. Uh, the scammers scam the whole planet away from everybody. They wind up um, in exile on Neptune. Where they run into the robot Santa. Of course, you know how that goes. He's not trying to kill anybody this time. Which I, you got to watch an earlier episode to figure out why I will be laughing. Oh, and another small note from the last episode. In the wedding, the robot devil and his orchestra were playing the music. Which, hey, I thought was so great. Because this is all, they're already, they're bringing back all the characters they can, basically. Um... And when they meet the, the robot uh, uh, robot Santa, they decide to actually fight the scammers and get their planet back. Um, well, I, I wrote down they take toy bunnies and fill them with napalm so they can use them as like you know explosive devices, which I thought was pretty funny. Because there's a song associated with it too. They start singing. They like these little musical numbers. Um, oh yeah, and of course they couldn't I don't know if it was planned or if they couldn't. I don't know if it was planned or if they couldn't resist uh, doing a, doing some Star Wars stuff in here. So they wind up doing it, uh, which I think they do it pretty well. Um, uh, moving forward in the story. Uh, oh, yeah. Then it's revealed that, La uh, Sars, or that Lars is really fry and he winds up. Uh, sacrifices himself because one of the scammers wasn't killed in the battle comes back he winds up sacrificing himself to take out uh, the scammer and then find out that he was really fried the whole time find out how he uh, came to get his appearance and voice um, but the one thing that really irks me I still can't get closure on Leela and Fry's these two character having a relationship i can't get closure on it because it's not it's not a it's not clear cut i think she winds up giving him a peck again nothing nothing reassuring and the fact that does he finally get the girl after this whole series does he finally get her in this episode i don't i don't know it was i was unsure um what else did I write? oh yeah i think i said this at the beginning of this upload but um all the benders that went back in time, all the times Bender, all the times Bender went back in time to grab a uh, like historical or or, or um, valuable items, come back at one time, and of course, all those guys being there at the same time causes a rip in the time space continuum, and it's in the world.